we chillin' tonight. Hey. Club, fly, flashy, grown classy, so turn it to dub. Hey. Saturday mornings, no walk of shame, we fresh up. 950 lounge, that's my guilty pleasure. I don't miss my favorite show, I put everything on hold. Work the baby, even the baby said no. When 950, come on, don't bother. I'm locked in, 10 to 1, no problem. I'm the young lady here, mm, and mm, we've mm. been. Um, she stole our hearts. We've been she stole her stuff. She stole our hearts. And um, <laughs> you big, can come back anytime. Big thanks to her cousin for plugging me to her. And again, like I said, I, we got a chance to taste this. This is this is this is goodness Liquid in the right? jar. No, you right? I know. I'm See, stuff, 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 stuff like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 950 go, Lounge, now. the Cupcake Queen Raven. Good thank you, you for having me. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. No, thank you for coming. It was like this. It was like she ain't bringing nothing, and now all of a sudden, oh, oh no, 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 that's not true. She she hit me up the other day and said she was bringing something. She hit you up. Over she made sure Rashad got. I made sure Rashad. I guess Look so. at Rashad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had, before anybody eats, Rashad got in and Ed is two in your last. Um, Controls are all <laughs> sticky now and wipe his hands. Oh, you no, know, I'm good. I know. No, you don't have to be sticky with her because you eat it with a spoon. You yeah. don't eat it with your mouth, Rodeo. I know you're used to that. But anyway, <laughs> carpet eater. Carpet eater. Um, <laughs> two over your head. But yeah. wait, but thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for having yeah, me. I, don't even know and I think really again, cool. when you when you put when beyond and today is is support a small business day anyway small business anyway day and you have a quality product like this talk about what the goodness that goes into this how did you get started with building you know cakes in a in a jar well i it started in high school first mm -hmm. um i was kind of tired of asking my mother for money every day so i kind of just made cupcakes just to make them for my friends mm -hmm. and, and your friends we went, paid no, okay. not at first, not at first, not at first. Okay. My friends didn't pay. Um, right. this, we were in like the lunch room before we went up, you know, to the home room and this boy said, oh, how much you selling your cupcakes for? Right. So I was like, it's a dollar. You know, I didn't yeah. think to charge, I just was, you know, mm. being good friends. Yeah, so you probably had there, the, the butter crunch money anyway, so right, you take that money. Right, So from that point on, I just started making cupcakes and bringing them to school and mm. stuff like that. And then I was known as a cupcake girl. Mm. Then when I got to college, um, I was tired of traveling to the Palisades Mall by my college to have a part-time job. So I asked the dean at my school, I was like, hey, can I make cupcakes or sell something? She was like, no, there's a lot of food laws, you know, on yeah. campus. So mm -hmm. she was like, but my daughter's birthday's coming up. I can pay you if you want to make something for that. So wow. I was like, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so ching, from that ching. point on, I just started dabbling. I just started making custom cakes from scratch, working with wow. fondant. But I like the cake in a jar thing. I mean, everybody does cake in a jar. I'm not going to tell you I invented it. No, I didn't. Right. But I like cake in a jar because you can have some now and have some later. Mm -hmm. You know, they make good favors. And I personalize it. I put my name on it. I brand it. I label it. Packaging is very important. So yeah. I just made it my own. I have about seven different flavors. Mm -hmm. Most of them last seven days without refrigeration. You can freeze it up to six months, six oh. months in the freezer. Right. Um, and you can also ship them. So nice. preserve that's it. what yeah. yeah. Without question. So when you decided to go into this thing, it started as being a kid. Mm -hmm. But what was the, the the push as an adult? Obviously, there's more than just making cakes when you run a business. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's the it's the marketing. It's it's you know it's the logistics of putting jars. What what was the kicker for you to say? You know what? I'm just going to do my own thing. Um, I just always had an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate the idea of working for somebody else. I mean, I work for somebody else now, right. but. I like to take steps in order to secure something for my own. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it's important to have your own money and yeah. not worry about someone firing you or you say the wrong thing and you're on probation and it's just too much. <laughs> and, and even, I didn't even want to go to college, believe it or not. Me and my mom used to go like back and forth because I said, well, Jay-Z could do it. Diddy could do it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why can't I do it? So 
I just always had that hustling spirit, so I just always wanted to have something for my own. So, so you were slinging just, cheese. You were slinging cheese. You, you was on the corner. <laughs> yeah. You was on the corner. Like, you was on the corner <laughs> giving that, that cake. No, not, not got even that. Got that down for you, baby. You got that little, little foil pan, and you was like, it got these cakes. I got these cakes. Pop the trunk open. Not even that. I just literally just, I had a passion for cake. Um, when I graduated with from Nye College with a degree in communications, mm -hmm. but after that, my mom had gave me like $100 to go on interviews to find jobs, but I kind of took that money and went to a in every school with it and mm. I just mm. learned and just wanted to expand my brand in any way possible right mm. so yeah backstage you um have a, something to say oh yes yes okay um, <laughs> oh yeah he got a lot to say <laughs> yeah. oh yes 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 this is you for now with you. the <laughs> with the um with the packaging and everything else cause I'm looking at this this is very great packaging that you got with it thank you especially in glass cousin, because I was wondering now looking at this with the cost does it cost more with the glass or with plastic, oh, it costs a little less with plastic, the packaging I, itself. Some people tell me I should look at plastic, um, but I like glass, I like see-through things. I just, it looks looks more presentable to me. Mm -hmm. um, but plastic can be just as expensive as glasses, sometimes even more. So oh, okay. I've just been looking at glass. And Broder, you can right say now. this like you do so, with the old jelly jars. I feel like, I feel like coming to America, this is beautiful. <laughs> hey man, don't be spitting all over the mic. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I got another show here. Go ahead, Josh. I just wanna first say thank you uh, for intriguing my taste buds, because no my problem. taste buds are on a thousand right now. Oh. Yeah, so sweet potato is a different flavor. Most people don't do sweet potato, which is I like the idea that I'm a little different. Um, I actually started doing this flavor around Thanksgiving a few years ago, mm. and my mom, who's very picky, she's like a extreme foodie, um, like probably around the springtime mm. of 2016, she was like, you know, you should bring that flavor back because that always resonated right. with me. Right. Um, so I just I make it for cakes. People, I just it's been making all year, but no. usually Thanksgiving. Now yeah, you made some for Stokely. Yes, I did. Now, I hope Stokely's not diabetic. Shirley, um, let me know. I don't want to enter that BBK. See if you come up on stage. I hope he's not. Pretty no. Brown. <laughs> Breaking my heart. Um, the mic drop. <laughs> Stokely! We have a real Stokely moment. Uh, Stokely! Stokely! Get up, boy! Gator! Bro brought um, to you by Raven. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, now, I have a question for you. Seriously, now, yeah. did you make a whole cake? And then break it up and, and put it into the jars. That's you, exactly what I do. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I don't bake the cake in the jar. So I bake, I make like a cake layer, maybe like an eight inch cake pan. Mm -hmm. And okay. then I crumble it up and there's certain measurements that go in. Oh. So everybody gets the same amount of cake. Wow. Goodness, okay. Robin. Now, do you cake, sometimes cake, put, cake, cake, you know, cake, the special cake, cake, people, the special requests like alcohol and stuff in the jar? So some like... people have requested that, but it hasn't been like a lot. Like some people might say, oh, you should try this. You should try that. Like people have asked me, do I make I, vegan jars? You I know, know, I know this country's on a health kick now. So that's something that so I have. Not here. Don't ever go away not from that, Raven. Please no, no, stay here. Wait, wait, here. Have you made not a honey cake? It's for everybody. Not here. Have you made a honey cake yet? I have. Oh, yes. I in have. a jar? No, not in a jar. It was oh, a birthday Jesus. cake for my friend I went to college with. Don't give that. With. He could be your spokesperson Ooh. for the hair. That, that's why. It's I, on my page. Cupcake that, and Raven. You can that's, why they you, that's why they called you. That's why they called you Cupcake. So now I draw. So wait. So now with the ingredients that you put in, are they all natural ingredients? Everything's made from yeah. scratch. Yeah. yeah. Made you from you scratch. can taste it. Everything's made from scratch. It's so fresh. the icing, the cake, everything. Yeah. From a business perspective, let's just go taking business perspective one on one for this. Okay. The cost of a jar. Now that's not necessarily the price people pay. But the cost of a jar, when you add everything up, from a business perspective, is the jar's profitable? Yes. On its own. Yes. Okay. So anything else you would do? This is the kind. This is like your your claim to fame, your main piece. Mm -hmm. But you can do other things. But you the rather do the jars. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's great. The jars is really good. I'm no, I like the jars. The, but you know what though? I, I tell people all the time, it's a lifetime investment. You know what yeah. I mean? A jar you can use, and my labels are waterproof, so you can wash it and still it'll still it's like you like the old jelly jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can use jars for anything. Yeah, literally, jars, literally. Literally. No problem. Like anything. he was talking about yeah. news, it was all fading. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have different sizes? Yeah. So I started off doing 16 ounce jars, mm. which was extremely huge, but I wanted to kick it up a notch and do labeling and packaging. And yeah. the, the jars that I was using before was from Michaels and it had like a lot of ridges on the side and measurements. Uh -huh. So I wanted to get like plain jars. Yeah. So I decided to use eight ounce jars instead. And mm -hmm. I think it's good because it's a small quantity and you'll come back for more. There you mm -hmm. go. It's like, like crack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a very small quantity. Got that, um, got sure, that down about the cake. What do you think about that? Well, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big cake person, but he I do. I, it's, it's very tasty. I even know what sweet potato till yeah. you said it, and now I'm reading it. It says sweet potato. Now, but short, I don't know if this woman's single or not. But I don't yes, want I to. Am. Well, oh, short, oh, 
This is our first time male jiggle. For sure, it's a lot of confidence. Just pimping me out. It's going to pimp me out. That's right. right. And next week. I need that cake, man. I need that cake. But Shaw come in with two big bags of cakes. <laughs> That's all she left me with. <laughs> so when, when, let's let's talk about the the when you when, as you get this thing going. Where's the where's the goal? What's the next step for it? Obviously, again, you you're here, you're branching out. We hope that somebody here says that and got a little money. And went, I'm gonna get some cake. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna please. talk about it. But what's the next? So what's the two year plan for the cake, Raven? Well, I plan to have them more flavors, mm. do more events as possible. I definitely want to build up my clients, so, but I eventually want to ship these jars out to different yeah. states and mm -hmm. countries. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, what that's flavors cool. do you have right now besides the sweet potato? So, I, <laughs> that's my best seller. So, I have a vanilla birthday cake jar, mm. which is a plain oh. vanilla cake mm. with rainbow sprinkles and cool. cream cheese icing. I love cream cheese icing. <laughs> I love this girl. Yeah. That's like for the <laughs> that's like wait, 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 wait. Let me finish the uh, finish Shut up. You got. Kiss and chip. Go ahead. I have a chocolate birthday cake jar, which is chocolate cake, uh, a chocolate buttercream, which is very rich, though, mm. and rainbow sprinkles. I have a strawberry shortcake jar that I do, mm -hmm. which is real strawberry shortcake, shortcake, mm. whipped cream that I make from scratch, and mm. fresh strawberries. I usually make that in the summertime. You could have sold this at Sin is... City if it was still open. <laughs> I got the strawberry shortcake. Okay. Okay. Let, let her finish, man. He's got black Tourette's. He's got a disease. He probably <laughs> shouldn't be eating that. He <laughs> might be uh -oh. taking it to another I'm level. Like, hyper now. Like, he like Gator <laughs> from... Um, Oh, what was that movie? Uh, whatever. Okay, but let's finish, let's finish, let's finish. I have a banana pudding cake, which mm. is a vanilla cake with a banana pudding like custard, and I mm. top it off with a yellow wafer. And then last, I have a carrot cake. Nice. Mm. That's yeah, the I have what a I carrot like. cake. Mm. That's walnuts in it. I'm surprised you don't have red velvet. I'm working on that. And I'm working on that because I feel like red velvet. You have to like it has to snatch people's heads off yes. the shoulders, like my sweet yes. potato cake does. So I'm yes, still working yeah. on that. Okay. Yeah. But next week, what I'm doing for Thanksgiving month, um, I try, I switch things up for my sweet potato jar. So mm -hmm. I have a marshmallow cream cheese buttercream mm -hmm. with candy pecans that I'm going to be doing mm -hmm. next week at my event. Buttercream, event, buttercream, so. mm, buttercream. <laughs> so as any artist, whether you're a singer like Britney or a Stokely, you're an artist in the kitchen or in the in the baking world. Yes. When you design stuff, what's, what what you get? When you come up with these great ideas, I'm, I'm sure it's just like you know, like a mad scientist. What, what's the thought process behind putting something together that you know is this good or this different? Um, I just try to, because a lot of bakers are the same on Instagram, so I try mm -hmm. to stand out as much as I can. Like, right. people really like my labeling and packaging that my cousin Eric did, mm -hmm. Seth Scott created. Gotta give Eric a shout. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> 20%. Nice. Yeah. No, seriously. He's really the, mm -hmm. the brains behind my, and the vision behind my brand. Um, I just try to do different flavors, mm -hmm. you know, strawberry shortcake. Like, some people, this is no shade, but some people will do, like, a vanilla cake with whipped cream and strawberries. That's not a shortcake. Oh. You know, that's just a you vanilla cake. You got shade here. Yeah. That's just short. <laughs> yeah. So I just try to do different things, different flavors. So I just Can I give you a flavor? A brownie? With chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and a little like um, almonds. But you gotta remember, whipped cream gotta last. It's not gonna be really that much. All right, the, 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 he, he, cheese, the cheese. No, the cheese. <laughs> the cheesecake. The cheesecake. I'm uh, always open for suggestions. I am. The cheesecake. It that called the called the Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> call it. Call it the rodeo. The rodeo. <laughs> Don't call it that. That's cute. I like that. Nobody's gonna buy that. <laughs> that man, nobody gonna buy it. <laughs> no, what person? He's a hater. Yeah, man. He is, he's, it's not a red. Reggie Bar, okay? He's a capital H. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out, man. I'm yeah, advertising. right. I understand. He, he parks yeah, cars. Right. Um, uh, oh! oh, God. oh. What, Josh, you have anything you want to add? <laughs> I know, beside the Hennessy? Yeah, that's what, I want a Hennessy cake. <laughs> you just want my a birthday's Hennessy. in 31 days. I just want a Hennessy cake. Okay. He just want Hennessy. Want he Hennessy. would have the Hennessy on the side he and the want, cake. He wants you to age the Hennessy for 28 days and <laughs> sprinkle it on. I got 31 days to my birthday. I, I need a Hennessy cake. What up? Has anybody? Because obviously we have the the marijuana um, uh, generation. Anybody has asked you to spike this with with marijuana? I know we got the pizza now and all that. I mean, have people no. come to our request? No, not at all. When I was in high school, though, I will say um, my school was very small, so people would ask me, "Oh, can you make weed brownies?" But my school was so small, I just was like, "No, I'm not doing that." Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of money in that, though. I know, but yeah. I was like, "No, I can't." Yeah, no one invested. Yeah, her kitchen is a Christian kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. how do you know? Oh, well, yeah, good guess, though. Good guess. She agreed. She said it. yes. You said yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's another black. Where, where can people, how can people buy these? Where can you get them from? So right now, um, if somebody wants to buy, they can go to www.cupcakequeenraven.com. Mm -hmm. I sell them by the dozen, but when I'm doing events, people have the opportunity to buy them in singles and right. mix and match. So I'm going to be doing St. Martin's Episcopal Church, mm -hmm. which is on between 122nd and 121st Street and Lenox Avenue in Harlem mm -hmm. on the 2nd of December between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. It's called Shop Harlem 
Lift Harlem Holiday Fair. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah. Again, like we'll we'll put your information on our website and promote it. Thank you. While we have you on mic, where where's Mike the moderator when you need him? With 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 a if you can find a. a well, that's a store or a place that, that has traffic. Would you want to put things individually into a shelf? I've had ideas of doing that, but mm -hmm. the ratio is so bad. Like the percentage, yeah. it's like sometimes 40, 60 or mm -hmm. 80, 20. So I don't know if God opens that door for me later in the future. We'll talk well, maybe about the Lord that, got but... a door open for you. That's what I'm asking. Maybe the Lord, the Lord has sent you to me through your cousin who just finally walked in. Finally, take <laughs> like your cousin. I've been having to get her on the show for five months. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I'm saying because we might be able to help you out there. Walmart uh, would sell possible. something like that. We call our buddies over at um on Tremount. Walmart. I won't say their name right now. I take care of that. Yeah, so I'm that'd be good branding you, though. Because you have fantastic cake. I was trying to get you yeah. the brand before you said, "Hell, I don't want to. Do I just want to come on your show. I don't want that." <laughs> but said, I'm like, and now he ate all your cake. No, but it's, this is yeah, great. This is, is great. Um, one get more time, it. the website and, and information on the buy. So you can follow me on CupcakeQueenRaven. CupcakeQueenRaven on Instagram. Also, I'm also on Facebook and CupcakeQueenRaven.com on. Online. Well, continue success. This is my website. Good. Thank you, know, you. Thank you. Nobody has gotten you. In, nobody has interfered you with cut Cake Man Raven or nothing like that, right? No, I actually know. Well, him. She's not a man, I know. rodeo. I know. But I'm just saying. When you go on. Sometimes, no, sometimes. No, like, no. When you go when on. I see that. Yeah, you know. It's <laughs> no. When you go on. Go ahead. Tell him. When I do events, sometimes people say, "Oh, do you know Cake Man Raven?" Yeah. Well, you tell me you, yeah. you cupcake queen. Right. Yeah. Get it right. Queen, I got the crown. That's right. Oh, don't, <laughs> oh, don't get no jaws. I mean, don't wear no crown around here. People get sensitive when they wear crowns in this office. That's I don't know. That's oh, really? Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's mine. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I mean no harm. I mean no harm. <laughs> Cupcake Queen Raven, thank you so much. Thank we you for having me. You. Yes.